Hi guys and welcome to Working Up TV. I'm going to do something a little bit different this week from a Puppy Diaries just because I've had people ringing me up and going through what they expect from a Whippet and some of the things that are coming out are just totally unreal and I think a lot of it is due to the fact that Whippets have been really bigged up in the sporting press and on the internet and such and I think people are going to get a pup and get it to 12 month old when it's ready for working and just be disappointed so just for that fact alone I'm just going to go through this this week and I don't want to sound arrogant and judgmental and I like it when people ring up and ask for advice and stuff but some of the things that you're expecting are just not real and you're going to be disappointed if you get a whip it and you want it to do unreal things. So we're just going to go through a few things in this video and hopefully it'll set it straight and it won't upset too many people. So realistically, what can you expect from a whip it, a working type whip it? Realistically, you're going to be expecting the dog to mark well when out ferreting, to catch rabbits in open fields, edge bottoms, on the lamp, day and night, with no fuss at all. You're going to be able to, with the right training, you're going to be able to get a dog to retrieve to a good standard, both day and night, over obstacles, and deliver a rabbit live to hand. Again with the right training, you're going to be able to get a dog to jump pretty much a five bar gate high. They take the lamping really well and they are a superb ferreting dog. One of the questions I've been getting asked is about airs. Are they going to kill four out of four, five out of five on a February morning on the fens? No they're not. Whippets were used for caution under rules and under rules is not based on killing airs, it's based, it's judged on turning ability and how close they are to the air, not on kills. If you want a dog for airs, do not get a whippet. Get yourself a good saluki ground. Another thing is foxes. Will whippets kill foxes? Yes they will, they do and they have done and I've used them on foxes myself. They will take the odd one and if you don't get to them and deal with it quickly, they will get smashed. Whippets are not made for foxes. They like to mark foxes for terriers, they like to push them out in the day. If they do get hold of them, they will have a scrap with them. The odd one will die. But they are not out and out fox killing dogs. If that's what you want, look for another breed. As you can see in this picture, if you look between the little tree there, after a day's digging you'll see a little fawn whippet. Bang on marking dog, likes them in the net. Not an out and out fox dog. Deer. Will whippets kill deer? <laughs> Don't be silly. Of course they won't. Even Munjack are a little bit too much for many whippets. If you want a deer dog, again, look somewhere else. So, just to summarise, whippets aren't air dogs by any stretch of the imagination, nor are they out and out fox killing dogs. And if you want something for deer, then just don't even think about a whippet. What they are is rabbit specialists, bang on for catching rabbits on the lamp, ferreting in any condition. If the wind is blowing and it's snowing, it doesn't really matter to a whippet as long as they're at. So I don't want to sound arrogant and I don't want to belittle anyone that's rang, but if that's what you're looking for, do not look for a whippet. And just while I'm on the subject, to the lad that rang, who wanted to take his whippet on the moped, mate, you are unreal. Take it for a walk, fetch it in the car, you ain't taking on a moped. So thanks for watching the video, I hope it ain't upset anybody and I'm sure if I get a disliker it'll be the guy with the moped. So if you like the videos, like them, subscribe, all the usual stuff. If you're on Twitter, follow us at Working With Pits.